Remembering the lives lost and those deeply impacted by opioid abuse in Onslow County, a vigil is getting underway at the Jacksonville Commons Recreation Center. That's where we find WNCT's Elizabeth Tooth. Folks across Onslow County are coming out to show their support for those who lost loved ones to addiction and suicide. Their message, we see you. The events hosted by Onslow Community Collaborative advocate Dan Witten knows firsthand what it's like to struggle with depression. I've, I've had those thoughts. Um, it's very, very real to me. I've learned the strength to come out of that. Witten says the one thing he learned, the importance of listening. That's the driving force behind Monday night's event. It's important to tell people, youth, teenagers, adults, military, veterans, that uh, it is okay to be depressed or to be bipolar or to have a problem because it is then also okay to get help with that. Advocate Jasmine Ambrose lost a loved one to suicide. She's encouraging those who need help to reach out. Hoping that people take from this that they're enough, they are good enough, they're not alone in their struggles. We all struggle with the same things that they're that they're struggling with, that they battle every day of their lives. In the last year, there's been over 400 overdoses in the county. There will be a memorial board for anyone to put photos of their loved ones and an opportunity for you to sign your name, pledging to remember them. Organizers of the event say this is only the beginning. They plan to hold several more town halls and continue the discussion about these issues. In Jacksonville, Elizabeth T. Nine on your side.